What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with another figure review. Today we're taking a look at none other than Diddy Kong from the world of Nintendo. Now, as you guys have seen in the past, I've already reviewed Yoshi, Bowser, and Donkey Kong from this way uh, this uh, this line, and I love this line. It's not bad for the price point and uh, the sculpting, the paint job, and uh, the articulation is kind of mediocre, but everything else is pretty spot on. So if you guys are looking to build a Super Smash Brothers display or you just like Diddy Kong for some reason, uh, this is a must get. So guys, here's the, um, the packaging, standard packaging. We have World of Nintendo. Uh, we have a nice bubble right here where you see the actual figure inside. The mystery accessory included. They like to do this kind of stuff. Yoshi had one. Um, who else had one? Did anyone else have one? I think Yoshi... Oh, Mario had one. Um, but yeah, now Diddy Kong definitely has one as well. And so that's pretty exciting. Um, this is a 3 and 1 fourth scale figure or inch figure with 14 points of articulation. That's fantastic. The other figures from this wave, Samus, Blue Toad, Luigi, uh, Ganondorf, and Metroid. I definitely want to get the Ganondorf if he is um, not the little mini figures, but the big figures. <coughs> Excuse me. I saw Samus passed up on this because I already have the Figma Samus and I saw the Blue Toad but he's not really a Super Smash Brothers character so I've passed on that one as well. So yep, can't wait. Hopefully I can find him sometime soon and that's that. Alright guys, stay tuned. I'm going to get this guy out of package and when I come back we'll see what Diddy Kong has to offer. Give me a sec. Be right back guys. And we are back. We have Diddy Kong here out of package. I gotta say, I am digging this Diddy Kong figure. Now, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Uh, Scale-wise, he is pretty good with the Donkey Kong figure. He is okay with the Mario and uh, all the other characters that are in this wave. Um, if you're comparing him to like the import figures like, I don't know, Sonic or whatnot, I'll put a little clip at the end so you guys can determine for yourself if you want this figure. But I really do dig this figure. Now, honestly speaking, do I, um, do I think the import companies like SH Figuarts and places like that, Figma, will they ever release a Diddy Kong figure? Honestly speaking, I don't think so. I know um, SH Figure Arts is doing like the Mario universe, but uh, can I see them doing something like Diddy Kong? I have no idea. So um, I think he will be the best figure for the time being. So if you definitely want to pick this up, it's only 10 bucks, so you cannot beat it for uh, what you get. Now, o overall, I'm pretty ecstatic about this figure. I really do like this figure. It has a lot of things going for it. For example, sculpting looks fantastic. This is Diddy Kong. Um, yeah, love the face sculpt, love the little shirt, love the belly button, love his little tail, love everything about it. His hat looks fantastic. Paint job is fantastic as well. All the just little parts are just done very nicely the eyes are nicely colored uh, there's no paint blemishes on mine the yellows are like a mustard yellow um, and yeah the Nintendo print is done very nicely so can't complain there articulation he has quite a lot for such a basic figure his arms can go out that far he can fully rotate it's a little bit hindered because of his face but that's fine. Single joint at the elbow, but you get more than 90 degrees. Full rotation here at the wrist. Now his wrist, just letting you know, is on a curve. And that's actually pretty okay because if you want to have, let's say, Diddy Kong kind of like holding a piece of rope or something, uh, that can, uh, yeah, make this guy look a little bit more smooth. 
so it looks pretty good. The head can swivel left and right, can't look up or down unfortunately. There is no waist cut here. If they did, that would be pretty freaking epic, but they don't. Uh, the legs are on a similar joint like the shoulders, so it can go out, can go up, down, uh, single joint at the knees, but because of the way it's uh, his legs are, he can get more than 90 degrees, it's like a double joint there, so pretty nice. No, actually there's a little bit of a swivel here, no ankle rocker, nothing like that. So there you go, the tail lastly is on a little joint so you can move it. So yep, there you go guys, that is Diddy Kong for you. Uh, I gotta say, he looks fantastic and he is gonna look awesome in my Super Smash Bros. display. If you haven't picked up your very own copy of Diddy Kong, then I highly recommend you do so. I think he is a Toys R Us exclusive because I haven't seen him at Target or any other place like Walmart. So go to your local Toys R Us, hopefully you can pick this guy up. And the last thing I want to do before I show you the size comparisons and whatnot is showcase this little red a mystery box so I mean it has a lot of bananas on it so I'm assuming it's a banana and hey what do you know it is a banana now honestly speaking sculpting looks pretty nice there's no paint on it but you can just go in with like black uh, marker and just kind of outline it and I think that'll look fine but yeah super excited so there you have it guys guys stay tuned give me two seconds i'm gonna show you guys a size comparison between him and everyone else so uh stay tuned for that and until next time this is daybreak 748 and i'm signing out peace out guys all right guys <coughs> if you stuck around long enough to watch this part i'm just gonna show you guys like a size comparison so here is donkey kong and Diddy Kong together. Looks pretty good. I think Diddy Kong should be a little bit smaller, but not bad since Donkey Kong here is hunched over. Then we have Diddy Kong and Sonic, and this is the Nendroid Sonic. So there you go. And then you have Mario and Diddy Kong. Now this scaling is a little off, but hey, it will do. Like I said, um, for the price point, he's like about 10 bucks. Um, you can't beat it. And uh, I'm sure you can get away with uh, using him in your Super Smash Brothers display. So, guys, if you can find him, highly recommend it. And once again, thanks for watching. This is Daybreak Sound 48, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.